Welcome to 20th Century Lanes in Hyde Park, Massachusetts, where we are in the second frame of the final match of a preseason tournament that the house is running as we uh, approach the 2011-2012 season. Craig Holbrook on the left lane, lane 7, has gotten off to a fast start with two consecutive spares, spare 9, spare, and Harry Ward on the right lane has started off with a 10 box in the first and a... Uh, a seven for 17 through two. In this event there were 16 competitors and they bowled a five string qualifying round after which the field was cut to the top six for knockout match play with the first two seeds receiving a bye. Craig Holbrook drops nine and Harry Ward with a, a nice bid on that spare, but he doesn't quite make it. He had a fire drop with four horsemen uh, and one. Didn't quite make it. He'll take a 10 box. Meanwhile, Craig Holbrook has his third consecutive spare. As I'm sure you know, Craig Holbrook is coming off a fantastic season in 2010-2011 uh, where he won the, the uh, Bowler of the Year honors in the Pro Series and also he, he was victorious in the uh, season-ending Pro Series playoffs. So uh, Craig is picking up right where he left off. No big surprise there. Harry Ward is a, a bowler not frequently seen on the... Uh, and there's a... There's a uh, kind of a funny spare by Craig Holbrook. He converted that uh, split with the ball bouncing all over the place. Let's take a look at this, five, eight, 10, this piece of wood, and the ball hits the wood and it goes off both sidewalls and it takes out the 10 and, and the five. I started to say that Harry Ward is not uh, probably as familiar a face, but he qualified in this tournament with 664 for five strings. He was the top qualifier. That included strings of 104, 152, 128, 132, and 148. So that's really some top-notch bowling by Harry Ward. And then uh, after having a bye in the first round, he reached the finals by defeating Jonathan Boudreau. And I might mention that Jonathan Boudreau is uh, a 16-year-old who recently turned pro and has uh, turned in some outstanding results in, in his early events as an adult with uh, a 639 in, in qualifying in this event. And there's another spare by Craig Holbrook. Um, meanwhile, it's a, a 10 box by Harry Ward. And here's another look at the spare by by Craig. He, uh, he's he got uh, the 7, 8, and you can see what how that worked. So now they'll switch lanes. Craig Holbrook has 83 through 5 with a spare up, and Harry Harry Ward has 46 through 5. So um, Craig is off to a really quick start, and he punches out the spread eagle in the sixth box, giving him 87, which gives him a, a 41 pin lead. That's uh, pretty tough, tough to. Uh, to come back from. And Harry Ward with a nice try on that four horseman, but he just caught a little bit too much of the head pin and, and uh, only got eight. As I mentioned, uh, this, there were 16 bowlers here in, in the event. Some of the, uh, some of the other qualifiers were Mike Regal in third place with a 654. I mentioned John Boudreau with 639. Sam D'Agostino had 618 and um, Brandon Marks was sixth place with a 608. John Zappi had 605 and Jay Kovitz with 600. And there's another spare by Craig Holbrook. He is just running away with this thing. And nice shot for a spare by Harry Ward in the seventh. Let's take another look at this. He's got the one three seven ten and he just nice piece of wood there but I think this probably would have gone without the wood. That's just a a beautiful shot by Harry Ward for the spare. It's probably too little too late to come back against this big lead by Craig Holbrook, but it's still a nice shot. Craig working on that spare. He's got seven. That gives him one thirteen through seven. 
And Harry with his three on the spare. Craig not quite able to convert that three, five, nine. So he's just got the nine pin remaining. And it'll be a 10 box for Craig Holbrook. That gives him 123. And Harry with uh, 78. Uh, nine box for 78 through eight. I might mention also that uh, in addition to, uh, to being an excellent candle pin bowling house, 20th Century Lanes also is host to Ron's Gourmet Ice Cream which is uh, just about as good ice cream as you're going to find. So. And there's a spare by Harry Ward in the ninth. But if you come down here, you definitely don't want to leave without having some ice cream. That'll be a 10 box for Craig. He's got 133 through 9. Yeah, as he just clears the gutter, there's a stray ball down there. Will, Craig will win the top prize in this tournament. I think it's $150, but I'm not quite, I didn't, I'm not sure I didn't write that down. Craig drops eight. And Harry Ward with a nine drop. And he's kind of wondering where these bears were when he needed them earlier. And there's a mark by Craig and another one by Harry as well. So one ball to go for That's each guy. And you hear Mike Savetti in the background saying uh, it's a two, good thing it's a two string turn, but actually it's, uh, it's just one string. So this is the last ball and it's an eight drop for Craig Holbrook, giving him a 151. Meanwhile, Harry Ward drops five, giving him 112. So that's, that's the final score, 151 to 112. And Craig Holbrook starts off the season just the way he finished last year with, uh, with a win. So Harry Ward comes in second, and we will see you folks next week for the Women's Pro Series.